Hi guys, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. So as I've shared with you, I have, I guess, a, I incorporate a minimalistic approach in my lifestyle. I learned about minimalism a few years ago and from the moment I learned about it, um, I discovered it, I should say, and start to incorporate some of the theories and principles in my life, I have found, I've experienced so many benefits, things like having more time, having more energy, being a lot more efficient, um, I've saved money, I've found, I guess, a greater ability to concentrate and focus. And I would say that I've had an overall dramatic improvement in my level of happiness and just um, simple contentment. As well as, I guess, also, um, I should mention what's quite important, is a much greater sense of my values and appreciation for the things around me. Now, in my minimalism videos, um, and where I've shared my experience or my knowledge or, uh, or information that I have around minimalism. It's all been really focused around, I guess, fa fashion as in my wardrobe and my home. You know, it's been focused around decluttering the house. And when I was on holiday, I was thinking about minimalism and, you know, just how it's probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me. But in thinking about it, I realized that I wanted to do it, explore minimalism on a deeper level and try and apply the ideas behind it into other areas of my life. Now, I've already started working on this and um, I've had some really interesting discoveries and really interesting ideas that have come up and I'm feeling the benefits of this already. So I am making a new playlist around minimalism where I am going to share with you, um, I guess, new things that have happened in my life um, where I've made significant changes into the way I think about things or the way I do things. And in these in these playlists, um, I will be sharing with you each subject at a time as to what it is, how I've done it, the benefits of it, and any maybe disadvantages of doing it, and um, I guess the experience or the journey behind it. And by sharing this with you, I hope that I might be able to give you ideas or inspiration to try and experiment on this for yourself and see if you'll get the same level of, I guess, joy and happiness and fulfillment. So for this series around minimalism, the first subject that I want to talk to you is about gifts. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love buying friends and family gifts. I put a lot of time and energy thinking about the gift that I want to buy that person before I actually go and physically buy it. I get a lot of joy seeing my friends and my family open up the presence and seeing, you know, the reaction on their face. It gives me a lot of satisfaction and happiness. However, recently um, I thought about all the things that are around me and all the clutter in my home that I'm always constantly trying to sort of avoid or minimize or get rid of. And I decided that I wanted to start giving uh, my fam family and friends um, the gift of experiences rather than the physical item. So I actually have three examples where I've started to do this. So this week was actually my dad's birthday and normally I would get him a book or a bottle of aftershave or a jumper or, or something like that. But instead, um, this year, I actually took him and my mum out to a lovely restaurant and we enjoyed a beautiful meal together. And it was so nice and you know we bonded, we talked, we shared stories and memories and laughed and it was just and enjoyed a beautiful meal together and it created an amazing bond and connection and it was just such a, a lovely way to share my dad's birthday and in a, I guess experience his birthday with him and the next day my dad called me to say thank you very much and it was so touching to hear um, the joy in his heart when he called to say thank you and say what a lovely night and, and talk about his his um, perspective of the evening so I I'm so, I don't know why I didn't do this in the past, it's, I'm sort of kicking myself now for not doing this um, more often, but it's just been um, it was such a nice thing to do and I'm creating a memory um, rather than you know a physical item in his life, which is I think more valuable. Also it was Rocco's birthday um, uh, about just over two months ago and with kids obviously I think this is a little bit harder because they do like to rip open um, you know a gift and tear off the paper and the ribbon um, so this year I actually gave him a couple of little presents to open and um, one was a, a board game for us to play together um, another one was a toy and I think it was and then some coloring in pens which is kind of experience as well 
but um, what I'm actually going to do for Rocco once the weather gets a little bit warmer, we're going to Taronga Zoo and we're going to stay the night as part of their raw and snore um, package that they have available. And you get to stay the night in tents and at Taronga Zoo and in the morning you get to see all the animals when they wake up in the morning. And um, obviously Rocco's never done this before and I've never done this before, so it's going to be a bit of an adventure for both of us. But again, we're creating you know, long lasting memories that over time become sweeter and again, creating much um, stronger um, bonds and connections. So I'm actually really excited about doing that. And um, I'll definitely put some pictures on my Instagram account when we do, when Rocco and I do that together. Another example where I've applied this idea is it was recently one of my best friend's birthday. And so me and my other best friend, we took her out to a lovely restaurant for lunch and it was so good because we ought to sort of step away from our jobs for an hour or two, um, sit down together in a nice restaurant um, with you know no distractions around us and connect and laugh and talk about different things that are going on in our worlds and different challenges that we're facing. And it was just so refreshing and um, you know, it, it was obviously her birthday and we were able to get her the dessert came out with a candle on it which was really lovely and um, again I did give her a very little gift but obviously the, the lunch was um, was the main gift um, for her and it was just such a nice thing to do and again it really I walked away feeling so recharged and just so grateful for what amazing girlfriends I have in my life. So if you want to have a go at applying this idea around minimalism and gifts there are so many different things you can do. Now, ideally you do the experience together because that's what helps create you know, an amazing tie and bond and memory together that lasts a lifetime. But in some situations that simply isn't possible because you know they may live in another country or too far away from you. And if that's the case, you don't need to give up on this idea at all. You can still give them a gift of experience and it might be something like a gift voucher to go get a massage in their local area or a, a course in say something like photography or art or a voucher to go get um, you know a manicure and pedicure or facial but if you are able to do something um, that could give the gift of experience and do it together you might do something like go to the art gallery together or go to a concert together or see a movie together um, you may be even able to take them away for a weekend or if your budget allows it take them away on an amazing holiday and if your budget doesn't allow something as extravagant as that, and I'm sure most people would agree that they are in the same situation, including myself, the act of service is also an incredible gift. So you might take a friend on a really lovely picnic or go hiking together, or maybe you even reorganize their wardrobe for them or cook them a week's worth of beautiful meals so they can have a really easy, stress-free week. So the intention behind this idea is to give gifts which are really meaningful and precious. Help strengthen your existing bonds with your family and friends and give you and your friend a greater sense of fulfillment and happiness. So that's it for this video. As I said, this is going to be a whole series that I'm running. I'm working on so many different ideas and principles in my life where I'm incorporating minimalism and I cannot wait to share these with you because I'm feeling the benefits of it and I've learned so much about myself as well. So this playlist of minimalism is going to be running for the rest of the year. I won't be necessarily publishing um, one of these uh, series each Thursday as part of Lifestyle Love, but you will see them sporadically between now and the rest of the year. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subs uh, subscribe. I don't know why I can never say that word. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv and like us on Facebook, where I publish a video every Monday telling you what sort of videos I've got coming up that week. Anyway, I hope you're having a great week. Um, the weekend's approaching, so I hope you have a, a, an exciting weekend planned. And I will see you on Monday for Money Monday. Ciao for now. Bye.